So Dollar Bill 82 requested that I do a video on how I built my trekking coop and I'm flattered that you would ask. Um, so I'm happy to oblige that. I've also had some other people ask in the past and I've that was kind of a fun thing to say, ask in the past. And it sounds good too. So I thought it might be a good idea to go ahead and put something up. I know when I built my coop I tried to take in as much information as I could and I found that there wasn't a lot of information on that that was very useful to me. So hopefully this is useful. It's not fixing cars, it has nothing to do with motorcycles or whatever. But hey, I did a video on how to build a gambrel barn. So, and people like that and that's kind of what I'm going for is to uh, help people and try to fill in gaps of information online if there be any. So. There you go. Hey Shaniqua. Hey Alejandra. LaFonda. Clucky. Penny. And Goldie. Maria. They like to hang out over here. I went through the trampoline a little while ago. And uh, well, that's a cool looking spider. And anyway we had this trampoline mat and I got thinking as a kid, I'd sit underneath the trampoline in the sun, you know, like when it's really hot outside, being around him, ah, I need respite. So I go under the trampoline, I was like, this is nice. You get the, the, the endorphins from the sunshine, but you still stay cool. And so I thought, oh, that's awesome. So anyway, I took that and put it over here. It is very redneck and very effective, and they appreciate it. And so I've got a little perch for them going through the fence. Uh, just a little branch that was trimmed from one of the trees by the wind. <laughs> and uh, they just like to hang out over here. So it works out pretty good. You see them breathing like that to cool down. So anyway, I had a uh, request for information about the way that I built the chicken coop. Uh, chickens are funny in a lot of ways. One of those is that they share a nest, typically. Um, you can have eight, nine, ten chickens, and they all seem to want to lay their eggs in the same spot. I just got a little thing that I put up to hold that. But anyway, so instead of having seven or eight boxes, it's just we have one nesting area. They also like privacy, so you have them come through the hole, and then they go back around here, and then they get back here, and then this is where they want to lay. You don't even have to teach them or tell them this is a the spot. They just figure it out with instinct, and they lay eggs there. See, so we've got a little opening here. So say you've got a nest hog and you don't want to disturb them, just pull that up, set it at an angle and you can reach in and get the eggs out real easy. Or you can open the big door and have lots of access to reach in and clean it out properly. So that's how that works. The whole thing's just kind of a triangle, kind of an A-frame cabin design. It sheds snow really well, even though it's right by the fence. It still does well because the fence tends to melt the snow there. So, anyway, we got a visitor. So, what I did is I built a frame to set the thing on. It's like a tabletop, and uh, I've got, uh, I don't know what you call this stuff. I just bought it at Lowe's. It's plexiglass kind of thing. Um, it's for greenhouses. And I did the frame like this so you can reach around and close yourself in here. As for a latch, I just used some plumber's tape and I just took it onto that. And also, how do you put a hinge on a T-post? I don't know. So what I did is I did a, a plumber's tape around to secure this at the top so that it kind of closes the frame. And then I did brackets and made a door. I uh, used the same kind of range fence, put it on. And then for the hinge, what I did is I did a hinge at the top and uh, secured it into here and then for the bottom I just used bailing wire just to secure it because you can't really do much down there and I didn't want to be tripping on anything. Um, as for this, I just got a couple of blocks here and this one here, I mean swing this open and grab it like this. I didn't secure the fence real well. Filming everything with a camera in your hand really limits you and makes you unstable but it gets the job done quick. I've been procrastinating this for about three days. This is where the chickens like to sleep. They all like to roost all in a row. So however many chickens you have, <laughs> measure the width of one chicken and then multiply that factor of X times the number of chickens. Um, and uh, that way they all stay warm. They all stay in the top, you know, heat rises. Apparently chickens get along with wasps pretty good because there's always wasps in here, but they don't care. doesn't seem to bother them. Um, I did a ramp. Chickens don't intuitively know how to go up and down ramps. 
Um, you'll have to use food and have the cleats close together. See how many cleats I've got? I mean, it's pretty much, you know, one to one. <laughs> but they'll figure it out. They really like to be in together and whatnot. So the way you clean this thing out is you just get a big piece of cardboard or squeegee whatever. And uh, you take all, it's not my responsibility or it would be clean. <laughs> I keep the food and the water full. That's my job. And so I got these big bins, you do it once every couple of days. I just have them hanging from chains, because with the chain you can cut it and weld it to the length that you want, or bolt it or whatever. Um, so that's the way that is. And I have them out kind of to the front, but in the shade, you can see that they're barely in the shadow line at high noon. Um, just see where your sun's going to be. And the reason why is it helps to keep them from freezing, for one. And then it also, I put a heater on the bottom, a magnetic one that sticks on the bottom. It's actually an engine block heater. <laughs> that keeps the water from freezing during the real cold months. Uh, but anyway, I just have them out here and that way that they don't get uh, messy or whatever. And hanging, they don't get on them. You know, they're afraid to climb on them because it moves and they don't like that. So then they don't poop in the water and the food and that way it'll last a couple of days. Um, so here's what this looks like underneath. It's just a sheet of plywood with a hole cut in the bottom. Like I say, you just take uh, your dustpan or a box or whatever you want and you just scoop all the stuff right down off into there. It's really easy to clean out. They always seem to want to poop in here. So that's that. Pull this back out and close it. Now you can close this up in the winter time. Uh, you can use foil or you don't use styrofoam chickens eat that um, But you can just stick something in here if you want what I do is I cut, cut it so it's in half um, So you've got a piece that goes into the left and then another piece so you tuck the corner into the right and then close it up run a piece of tape down the middle um, This makes it warm in the winter time because it's kind of like a greenhouse um, the sun is at this angle, it's south facing, so it keeps the chickens warm and that keeps them happy. I just have T-posts or bars or something along the fence this side so that they don't dig through. Hi ladies. You guys having fun, huh? They're like, we'd rather be free. I like to you get the camera. What's that about? <laughs> just getting my finger. You are a stinker, aren't you? So anyway, I don't know, they seem to be pretty happy with the whole situation. Um, they really like grass. You can see that they nip the grass, so I try to let them out at about uh, 30 minutes of light left in the day. That way they can't get too far away. And uh, basically they'll run around and, you know, do their thing, eat grass, find grasshoppers. They love grasshoppers. And... Uh, Anyway, that way they get the things in their diet, the gravel and whatnot. Because you look at the substrate they're on now, and it's just, I don't know, it's just hard dirt and poop and gross and whatnot. So I try to let them out. I try to give them enough room to where they would have room to be able to run back and forth and not feel quite so cramped or claustrophobic. They still like to pack together anyway. But uh, when you let them out, they are so excited. I think that's just healthy psychologically, among other things. If I was a chicken, I'd definitely want to have some liberty now and then. But they are troublemakers. They make a huge mess. They like to go over to the neighbor's yard where they have a bunch of, uh, what do you call it? They have a bunch of tree bark or mulch or whatever. They get into that and just, you know, they fling it. I mean, you watch a bull kick at the dirt or whatever, I mean, that's what they do with their feet. And they got some serious, you know, ability to just kick stuff out. I mean, those feet are meant to dig and uncover and raise all kinds of chaos. Now, the bad thing is, is with this range fence, um, range fence isn't good for chickens because you see, look at the neck of uh, Shaniqua on the front of her neck, that's from rubbing against the fence, like sticking her head through to get at grass. You know, some days I forget to let them out and peck at the grass and they'll get all anxious about it. You look over here, let's see, this is Goldie, that's any penny, so that would be Clucky. Um, Clucky's neck is a little bit naked on the backside. She doesn't look real healthy on the back of her neck from sticking her neck through. So, anyway. She's got the floppiest comb on the top of her head. But these two are kind of starting to flop a little bit too. I don't know what that means. Anyway, 
that's how I did my chicken coop. And uh, do they use this? I thought they would because they like to roost on that bar in there at night. They like to have something uh, to perch on. And, you know, they just, they don't use this one for whatever reason. But uh, that's a video on my uh, chicken coop. I think it's been okay. Um, there's a lot of good features to it, a lot of good aspects. When I went to build it, I waited for about a month. <laughs> and uh, I was looking at all these different designs on the internet, ones that were shaped like an egg, you know, ones that are shaped like a box, ones that are shaped like a barn. You know, I thought it'd be cute to do one that was gambrel, but I already have a gambrel structure on the property anyway. So I thought that might just be redundant and tedious, and so I thought it might be fun to do an A-frame. And the A-frame worked out really, really well. So, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. If there's a bunch of them, I'll just do a response video. And uh, otherwise, I'll just answer them in the comments. Thanks for watching. We've got Clucky. She's off on her own over there. <laughs> So around the water dish, it's actually cooler because you get that evaporation happening. So throw a little bit of water in there and uh, wet the dirt and then the evaporation helps to cool them down. It's over 100 degrees right now. It's hot outside. So you throw in a little grass, you can see they're going crazy over the grass. Chickens love to eat a little bit of grass now and then. So anyway, they're happier now. That way I don't have to let them out and have to get them back in. The best thing, you notice that the chickens aren't afraid of me. They don't run away from me. <laughs> they always run to me, which is kind of fun. It's kind of flattering. You know, not that I'm elo eloquent in chicken language. <laughs> but uh, I just, uh, what I do is I use oats to put them back in. They really like oats too, just the rolled oats, the raw ones or whatever. So I'll take those in a dish, a little bowl and I'll hold that out and so then they'll peck those out of the dish. The other ones will see that and hear the beak against the plastic of the bowl and they just come booking. So I'll get them all close by the end of the fence here and then as I get close I'll have the fence wide open like this and I'll have the chickens just going crazy on the oats and then just toss the oats in and uh, that gets them in. The other thing is if I wait uh, till the end of the day then I just leave the gate open and then as it gets dark, they just go in and put themselves away. And then I don't have to be spending all the money on oats getting them in. But if I get them out during the day for whatever reason, um, you can always use oats to put them back in. So animals are funny. They're not like people. They don't respect you. They just, they follow just uh, basic patterns. And uh, I already got eggs today. We had like four or five in there have my daughter get them when she gets back from grandma's but uh, they don't respect you they don't care about you they just you know based on patterns and conditioning so you can condition them to be tame or you can condition them not to be but don't expect them to respect your uh, garden <laughs> don't expect them to respect your driveway your vehicles or whatever I mean they're just not that smart um, they just respond to patterns and conditioning so like with the ladder you know i would really like them to take the ladder because that way this can stay warm in the winter time heat rises and if you have a hole in the floor that way you're not losing heat out the bottom but they can come and go freely but uh, you have to condition them in order to have that be successful so hope you like the video cheers